With the Masked Singer season 12 being in only a few months away, we've got some information if either Rita or Nicole will be returning on the panel. As well as, as you can see, I'll, I'll, I'll get into just a minute, you can see by the title who will be returning. And also I'll be giving up my thoughts to them. And of course we'll be reading this article that, that uh, Entertainment shared a few weeks ago. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. So, um, I just want to like just want to talk about why I haven't been posting too much. Um, as you saw last um, um yesterday, I posted my America's Got Talent audition auditions for uh, performance rankings, and that's the last video I posted in about nine days. So, because and that's because I've been really busy with other stuff. I've been doing like, and I've actually just finished my first full year at college. So it's kind of like just whirlwind in, in, a, in a sense so I, I've been focusing on that I've been kind of just focusing on college for the last few days I've completely finished for the summer um and but you know there's we, we I actually finished in June instead of July like normal UK schools would be doing so yeah but anyways I've got about 10 weeks off so we should get some videos out regarding AGT maybe the TMY and season 12 of course <laughs> if all of it is provided and you know, and current as like I said, you know, America's got, America's got talent happened last night as well, especially with um we had we had Howie's Golden Buzzer, Brent Street, the dance group from Australia, which I thought were just incredible. I thought they were a brilliant dance group, a, a very well deserved Golden Buzzer. And you know, if if you if you guys use Reddit, I'm actually on Reddit, and I do post my you know very similar stuff. On Reddit, like I do on here, regarding BG Britain's Got Talent, America's Got Talent, The Masked Singer, US, UK, you know, just all that stuff. So, I think you know. So you know, if you, if you want to check me out on Reddit, you can very well do. My username is Trainwreck60, which I'll happily put somewhere. But anyways, um, like I said, I thought How Is Gone Buzzer was brilliant. And last last night, I think it, I think. You know, I think the this whole year of talent has been like it's like BGT. You know, this year, you know, I mean, like talk about Britain's Got Talent. Like we had like Innocent Masuku, Sydney Christmas, Harry Bow, Jack Rhodes, Trixie. You know, Afrodite and Abigail, just to name a few. And you know, and the final for Britain's Got Talent this year was just was honestly one of the, the most unbelievable one because I think everybody that episode um, that um. Everybody that this year on BGT brought their A game in the final. I thought it was like one of those series where I was like, I could see any any one of them win. And if we do get a, a final like this on America's Got Talent, I think we can have a very strong final as well. Because last year, well, while we did have Putri Ariane, the Ramadani brothers, the Murmuration, Aaron Belial, um, Adrian and Hurricane, I feel like some other acts I didn't would not have had in the final personally just my opinion but um but yeah i think you know and uh sorry about that and as of right now i I'll, i will be doing my early books and predictions after episode six actually so not not the next week but the following week if that makes sense so you you, you so be on the lookout for that video um in just a few weeks about two weeks time so which i'm excited about. but i will say as of right now my early prediction to win agt is indeed um richard goddell the janitor who performed um don't stop believing i think his voice is just incredible and i just think he's going to be the real fan favorite this year and i'm really am excited to see him um perform again in the, in the semi-finals um and i you know i'm just excited because i think my i think him and legion the malambo dance group are my two golden buzzer favorites uh, with learn more being a very close third place but um you know that's that's some, that's the little recap of the week done let's talk about in the main video um that is as you can see uh, by the title of the video is that yes rita aura is returning to the mass singer panel for season 12 and nicole is still you know doing doing um her the west end show and moving to Broadway now so, um, firstly, I just want to say I'm just so happy Rita's coming back. Honestly, honestly, for those who don't know, I'm such, I'm a huge fan of Rita Ora. I love her music. I think she's an incredible singer. And, you know, I, okay, I compare, I, I said this um, on my last BGT video while doing one of these recaps, but um, 
like what I love about Rita is not only because um she um is, she's a fun per- she's got a fun personality she's a lot of fun you know she's funny she she has good guesses but every time she sings on on the panel I'm just like oh well I'm just like I just get all excited for some reason I don't know why but but like Rita like there's something about Rita's like voice I think it's just really like great in a way I can't fully describe it but like. And I've the whole I've seen you know watching season eleven. She I think she sang about well, f- in the first five episodes. She sang she sang about five times, which is honestly in like the first five episodes. Ironically, maybe four. My mis- maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I know four of them for sure. And you know, like I mentioned before, uh, she uh, sung one of Cisco's actually. Um, she sang one of Cisco's songs in the in the. In shower anthems night i can never i've always forget what it's called but she sang the chorus to that which i thought was brilliant and you know it, it was very similar to when charlie simpson won the uk mass singer last year she sang um year 3000 um which which i get which was a song i actually didn't hear before i'd never heard before until um she sang it last year on the panel so that's when i heard about that song um but regardless let's talk about um so like i said reese is coming back I and I'm look I'm biased here, but I'm really hope we, we get to hear us sing again. Um, like where we just be just a little acapella, little you know, but just where even if it's just like a couple of acapella bits there and there, I I would be fine. I'll be fine with that. So let's just get into it. So so that this is the article that Entertainment Weekly released a few days ago, um, which is. Rita joins the Mars Singer panel in the place of Nicole Scherzinger again for season 12 exclusive. The Pussycat Doll Singer is set to start on Sunset Boulevard on Broadway later this year. Now, if you don't know what, um, now for those who don't know, um, Re- Nicole wasn't on season 11 because of her being on, um, on the wet on the West End doing her show. And if you don't know what the West End is, it's basically just the the UK version of Broadway, if that makes sense. So she was on there, and she's bringing it to the U- to Broadway in New York City, which I think is brilliant. Um, so, yeah. um, so let's. Oh, hang on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we got. I think we got a bit too far down here. There we go. There we go. So Rita Ora is not giving a final guess on the Masked Singer stage just yet. <laughs> So this is what they said. The British singer-songwriter who first joined the hit disguised celebrity singing show in season 11 to replace Nicole Scherzinger will be returning as a panellist once again for its upcoming 12th season. And this is basically confirmed. The show welcomes back her, along, her back alongside mainstays Ken John, Jenna McCarthy, Wahlberg, Robin Thicke, and of course the host of The Mostest, Nick Cannon. And and although Nicole won't, won't be returned to the judges' test any time uh, this time around, it's understood that no casting decisions have been made for any future seasons beyond season twelve, and the door is open for to return um, whenever. And that is so. Basically, she reached out f- um, for this. So if basically, so it's like I said, basically she stepped away. She's not on. The, she hasn't been on the show since season ten because of the uh, her being on the wet stand, and her. You know, she was. She even got a the Oliver Awards, uh, which is basically the British equivalent of the Tonys, and she's now a Broadway bound bound as the production moves to New York City with it beginning on the twenty eighth, uh, the twenty eighth of September, and now ahead now even um. Uh, and the same week, it send um asked um her if she was planning to continue the series. Should it get rerun for many more seasons? And her response is like she would love it, and she loves the Marsinger family. Such a great job. Are you kidding me? I love it. Yes. And Nicole, and you know, you know, um, and I believe Ken. Like I said, Ken actually jokingly guessed her to be the goldfish aka Vanessa Hutchins by the way um, and as for Rita she's no stranger to the bonkers show before joining last season as she was actually on as you know she was on the UK um, she's on she's on the UK panel for the last thing which apparently she she might be leaving this year um, I can't remember why but apparently my jammer is coming back which I think is will be, I mean my jammer will be replacing her for the for next year for next season which I think is a bit of an odd choice 
because I feel like someone maybe like Anne Marie would be better, but oh well, it is what it is. So yeah, she's basically she was like so basically we just said, you know, I would love that. You know, she she said at the time I had such a great experience and yeah, who knows? I'm very grateful that they had me on the show. I love it, and it's so much fun. And the production actually and the tapings actually just ended actually just now. Um uh, so um just yesterday actually. So with this in mind, um from what I've heard from people on Reddit and the fandom, apparently for they actually been to the tapings and I I actually heard a rumour that Nicole could maybe come as a contestant, like Nick Cannon did when he was pulled out of the show because of the coronavirus. You know, when Nick came back as, you know, as the bulldog, you know, he came back as like a surprise. And it's a surprise to Pam, which I, which I honestly thought was so clever. I actually could not pick that up. Um, but, you know, in, I've, been, I've been thinking to myself lately is that could Nicole maybe come back for maybe an episode or two? Just so she can maybe, you know, be on the panel for a little bit. Because, but, um, from what I've heard from people on Reddit, you know, apparently it's it's currently Nicole. No, it's currently Robin, Jenny, Ken, Rita. That's what I've been hearing. All the panelists are back. So, no one's mentioned Nicole. No one's mentioned it. So, yeah, basically no one's mentioned that Nicole is here. So, it looks like Nicole is not back. So, um, yeah, so that's really it, to be honest with you. So, we can, it, what I can say is Rita is coming back for season 12. Again, I'm so excited. I hope we hear her sing again because she's got such a beautiful singing voice. And by the way, uh, no no sponsorship, but I've actually had her one of her songs on my Spotify playlist countless times, which is Let You Love Me, which is which was the song Maypole, a.k.a. Melly, bleh, Melody Thornton did on the UK. How she went out against Bigfoot, I've got no idea. <laughs> no offence to Alex Brooker, though. But, um, yeah, but, um, but I mean, I still think he should be in the bottom three. I think him, Dippy Egg, and Cricket, in my opinion, just because I didn't... While I loved Cricket's antenna performance, I thought it was amazing. I just feel like when Ivor Tower did stay, I was like, yeah, maybe Cricket might be in the bottom. Um, but, no, um, <laughs> but I, I do think that um, I'm just... Again, I'm just so happy that Rich is coming back on the panel. I wish, I do honestly wish Nicole all the best, you know, on her Broadway show. I, I, I hope she does well. I, I have a lot of admiration for her. I really do wish her luck. Um, and, and yeah, and yeah, so that's, that's, that's really it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yes, this is just me, just a bit of a video. Um, share any information for Rita coming back. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you, are you happy with Rita coming back? Let me know in the comments below. But as always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please like and subscribe. With post, not post notifications turned on. I'd really appreciate it. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time.